So, we've got a lip smacker scandal on our hands. Like, oh my gosh. If you had told me, actually, I was told about it, and I thought the initial person who brought it to my attention had to be wrong. I thought there was no way this could be a thing. But Lip Smacker quietly discontinued all the Dr. Pepper products. Yeah, I mean all of them, all of them. If you find them in a store now, that's old stock. You can't buy them from the Lip Smacker website anymore. They are no longer carrying them. They are no longer listed in their full list of flavors at all. They have been selling that flavor since 1973. <laughs> if they had held out one more year, they could have done a big 50th anniversary celebration with it and then quietly shuttled it away. But no! Like, what? That has always been one of the biggest sellers. I don't understand. Why would they do away with it? I thought maybe it could be supply chain issues. Maybe it's licensing. But then, looking through stuff... They still have the Coca-Cola products on their site. Coca-Cola is the parent company of Dr. Pepper, so it's not licensing. Can't be that. So, if it were supply chain issues, they could just put a temporarily out of stock notice on things. They didn't do that. They took it down. It's gone. It is gone off their site. Somebody commented in my subreddit asking about this. This is why I thought that... Oh, clearly it must be a mistake. They have mentioned that they were uh, buying them off of Amazon for inflated prices, and did I know anything about it? And I was thinking, oh man, there's no way. And then I go and look into it, and they did the thing! They actually did get rid of it! What the hell? So, alright, let's dig into it. I'm going to start reaching out. <laughs> So I went on a freaking rampage of commenting on all of their social medias, publicly and privately, all the hell over the place, asking, what happened? Not a peep. Not a peep from them. And on both Instagram and on Facebook, it shows those messages were read. They left me on red. They're actively ignoring commenting about this. Which makes it that much sketchier and like, what? Like, to be fair, I know they are not a huge fan of me. I know that at that company they don't like me, but usually they answer me though. So I finally was like, all right, fine, I'll call them. I don't care, I'll call them. I was told they can't comment on that at this time. <gasps> what? What? Okay, so clearly something went down. We don't know what, as of this point in time, what went down. But if anyone hears anything for as to the why they got rid of one of their flagship flavors they have been selling for all of this time, please let me know because now I'm invested in this. Now I'm curious. It was completely not even on my radar till it was brought to my attention. But now that it's been brought to my attention, and seeing as we all know I'm Little Miss Chain Drinks Dr. Peppers over here, yeah, I kind of have a vested interest on multiple levels. <laughs> I do realize the irony. My hair is kind of Dr. Pepper red. My nails are Dr. Pepper red. The day that I learned of this, I actually did an eye look that was inspired by Dr. Pepper. And I meant to make this video then. I wanted to give them a shot at replying first. But clearly they've not done that and I don't think they're going to. I will provide an update if they prove me wrong and actually do later respond and give some kind of an explanation. But as of right now... We are totally in the dark as to why they discontinued this. That's just wild to me that they got rid of that one, which I believe was their first ever, like, branded flavor. Insanity, guys, right? Like, <laughs> I weep. That was always one of my favorite ones. Even long before I drank the actual thing, I always, like, opted for buying that particular one when I had a little extra money to spend at drugstores. Like... Oh my gosh, my childhood has died. Well, a piece of it has died, but, like, why that one? I don't know, but it's even crazier to me. It wasn't that long ago. You could go on their website, look at the full list of flavors, and you can, like, search by letter of the alphabet, right? There used to only be, like, a couple uh, letters of the alphabet that didn't have any entries. 
Now like half the alphabet on there is a ghost town. It's depressing to look at. I don't know if this is like a result of the pandemic. I don't know if they're just financially in trouble. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I wish I did. I wish I had more answers, but I don't. And I mean, I think it's very telling that a lot of us who have been with them from the start or close to it have more or less kind of given up on the brand in recent years. I mean, that tin that I bought at Christmas time was the first release of theirs I've bought in I don't know how many years. And that was just because I found it so weird that the soda flavors in there were- Oh yeah, remember I commented about that. They were all generic soda flavor names. That is very unlike them. And it caught my attention and it's why I bought it. Now I'm like, ooh, my spidey senses were tingling for a reason. There was something more afoot that I just didn't know yet. So I'm like, hmm, what is going on, Lip Smacker? We would all like to know now, now that it's out in the open, we're all aware of it. What is going on? <laughs> so, again, I will keep you guys updated if they tell me anything. And if they don't, then I guess it remains a mystery to us all unless someone else hears a thing. Although, if you hear a thing, I would appreciate if you could, like, provide some kind of proof and it's not just hearsay. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. I know a lot of brands have, like, totally gone under that we never expected as a result of the pandemic, but I don't think... They're in quite that dire of trouble if they're in financial trouble. I mean, they're clearly still making new releases. They just put out that, like, Sanrio set. So, I mean, they've clearly got some skin in the game still. Like, they're not completely sunk. They're still making monies. But, man, I just... Wow, finding out that they both got rid of the Dr. Pepper flavors all together. And that there's, like, so few flavors available, period, now, like... I remember a time when there was over 800. Like, <laughs> what happened? What happened? Like, I wonder if maybe they overextended with, like, the special shaped packaging on different stuff like the Zoom Zooms and the soda cups and the Lippy Pals and this, that, and the other. They've made, like, so many different things that I do wonder if maybe they overextended financially that way and maybe that's part of the problem. Ironically, speaking of the special shaped things, if you go to their Facebook page, where it's got, like, the products you can buy directly from the site section. Ironically, the Dr. Pepper cup is still the first one that comes up, but if you click on it, it just brings you to a page on the Lip Smacker website that has the available soda cups, but that one is not there any longer. So, it's kind of a lying listing that's not actually there. <laughs> it's like, wow, all right. I thought maybe I'd found something that I missed on the first go-through, but no, 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 it is literally wiped from the site. It's gone. I'm not sure at what point it left. It seems like it had to have been fairly recently, because I feel like this is a thing people would have noticed pretty quick and freaked out about, because it has always been a fan favorite. So, lip smacker. Balls in your court, guys! What went wrong? Why did you take this away? I don't know, but we would like to know. We'd like to know. Like, even if it's just a farewell to Dr. Pepper products post that you put up on your social media or something, like, anything would be appreciated. Or if it's just a temporary leaving, let us know that. Like, anything at all would be fabulous. So, anyways, <laughs> that's that. So, anywho. You know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.